Since many of you guys have found this channel due to the Land Cruiser and because it has been quite some time since you have last seen the car on a video, I thought I would make a quick midweek update on what is going on with the car. So obviously there is something missing from the 90 series and at a first glance that is the front wheel. However, at a second glance you will quickly realize that there is much more missing than just the front wheel. I have pulled the upper and lower control arms apart and obviously removed the brakes and the knuckle. Now, the reason I have done this was at first I just wanted to replace this ball joint which had a worn uh, boot. The ball joint is actually still fine, it is tight so it wasn't going to fail but the torn boot meant that dirt could get inside the ball joint which would slowly wear it out and these ball joints are crucial to the functioning of the 90 because if they fail the whole wheel will fall off now since i had most stuff apart i thought i would also check the upper and lower control arm bushings and they were worn they were completely worn actually and what I found was interesting because about six years ago I replaced my bushings with these polyurethane ones which are supposed to be stronger than the factory uh, Toyota bushings. Now when these were mounted on the control arm you could only see this side and this side and from the outside it looked like these bushings were still fine i mean they have no cracks on them they are still relatively soft so there were no obvious signs of them wearing out however when i tried to check the play on the control arms there was a lot of play and when i took them apart i could actually push the bushing out with my hand now these bushings normally need a press to remove from inside here and I could actually get it out with my hand so it was completely worn it could spin freely inside the control arm and as you can see the pin inside is it completely had it so what I realized here is that even though the bushing looks fine the material has worn out which has made the dimensions of the bushing smaller and therefore it could spin freely inside the control arm and it had a lot of play you can actually see right here where all the material of the bushing has uh, been worn out and it is actually now narrower than it used to be so these are no good they need replacing and since i have pulled this apart i will also do with the lower control arm bushings which to be honest those also need a changing in the past three months i have also rebuilt the steering rack and changed the steering rack bushings and I went and installed a 2 inch old Manimu lift. As you can probably tell from the older videos on the channel, this car has gone through a lot of work and it has gone through even more work even before I started posting videos on YouTube. So there is no wonder it needed some work. It definitely deserves it and I am going to replace uh, most of the suspension parts up front so it will be better than ever when combined to the new suspension. The plan for this car is to make it into some kind of an overlander or camper to cover some longer distances and slightly easier trails because I really like this car. It is very comfortable, very powerful, and I think it is far better suited as a touring vehicle rather than a hardcore off-roader. The tougher trails will be done by the Land Rover, which when compared to this on-road, it is definitely nowhere near as comfortable and as powerful. However, off-road, due to the solid front axle, it has a lot of potential. A question I wanted to ask you guys was, if you would like to watch the process of rebuilding the front end on the Land Cruiser, obviously I have just taken apart the left hand side, so I have the right, right hand side to take apart and rebuild so I can film that side. And yeah, other than that, I just wanted to give you a quick update to let you know that the Land Cruiser hasn't gone anywhere. I am going to build it better than ever, basically because everything is pulled apart now and I will mostly use it for camping and long distance touring. On Friday I will be releasing our uh, trip to some rivers with the Land Rovers. We had a lot of fun playing on some river rocks and slightly deep water considering that that was filmed in August. I was actually not expecting to find water. So if you want to watch that tune in on Friday. Thank you for watching.